All right, everyone. So Charles Barkley revealed on the Dan Levitard show how much money he left on the table by staying with TNT. Here's what he had to say. But the number one thing for me is my people at Turner get to keep their jobs for at least another year. And that's all I was concerned with. Charles, how much money do you think that you left on the table in making that decision concerned about others? A minimum of $100 million. Jeez. A uh, minimum. Man. Yeah, because I imagine it was a lot of fun to be you recently, right? And free agency, that had to feel good, even as you're thinking to yourself in these meetings, because I talked to you a little bit at least. You're like, I'm not... Yeah, 100%. It was a great feeling. And I want to thank all those networks for reaching out to me. It was really humbling and cool. It was humbling and cool. And uh, so I really, uh, it was really humbling and cool, to be honest with you. Uh, but I, I wasn't even think like I said, Dan, even though they were throwing crazy numbers, I was like, damn. Yeah, but as long as I got my people safe at TNT, man, I, I feel really good. Like I say, they're going to pay me to go and talk about nothing, so I can't look a give horse in the mouth. <laughs> uh, before we let... Hey, Dan, I probably would have had to do an honest day's work if I went to one of those other networks. <laughs> I just have to say, this Charles Barkley is just a fantastic, fantastic dude. I mean, think about what he did here, right? He could have easily just kept quiet, let TNT do their thing. If they didn't do it, gone somewhere else, made a boatload of money, and not cared about any of the staff that works there. Instead, he stood, he was public, he fought for his staff, you know, for the people that work there. I guess it's maybe not technically his staff, right? Because I don't think he's like one of the bosses, but people that help him with the show, right? Help him that people behind the scenes producing that show. And he, it was a financial downside to it. He could have made a lot more money. Instead, he stood by his people who have kind of, you know, brought him or helped him get this kind of success in the media, the people behind the scenes. I just think this was such a great story. And this, if, if we had more people like this, more athletes like this in the media doing what Charles Barkley is doing, it would just be, you know, it would just be a better, a better world in a lot of ways. Right. And I'm not saying that in a way that's like, oh, there's all these athletes that aren't doing this because you could just see that there are, there are a ton of fantastic athletes and non athletes that are in the media that do stuff like this. But it's completely reasonable for people to go, yeah, you know, I'm going to try to get the most money that I want, right? It's very rare that you see somebody say, you know, I'm going to stick loyal to the people who helped me get to where I am, and I'm going to turn down big money just to make sure that they are safe in their jobs for an extended period of time. And I just thought that was such a fantastic thing that they did, or that he did. And hopefully, you know, the ratings and all that stay right where they are, stay up, so that this you know, kind of, I don't want to say gamble, but this decision by Charles is not one that we look back on and go, yeah, well, it wasn't the best decision. Hopefully we look back on it and say, you know what? He saved one of the greatest shows, um, you know, in sports. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next.